How, how does one prolong battery life? I mean, batteries are expensive um, and are getting more and more expensive. You know, flooded batteries were expensive, deep cycle, but the prices have gone up and are in multiples for AGM. And now with newer AGMs can be, you know, three, four times more money than actually a flooded lead acid battery. So people are investing a lot of money in their batteries. The battery banks are getting larger. And so if you're gonna have a failure in a battery bank and you're gonna have one battery fail out of eight, four years in of using your batteries, unfortunately, you can't replace that just one battery. You've gotta replace them all. So it's not like, oh, it's fine, I've got seven out of eight, I'm good. No, it's time to replace. The weakest battery is gonna take the whole bank with it because when it's time to change, you've gotta change all your batteries because they always have to start at the same time. You can't mix and match batteries of different life together. So that's a reason why you should care about your batteries. Uh, you know, a maintaining your investment, right? And also knowing that your batteries are not gonna fail prematurely when you least expect it. Because if you take care of your batteries, a flooded lead acid battery should give you probably between anywhere between five and seven years. On my own boat, they lasted 10 years. Now, it's normal. I take care of them maybe more than usual people. And I've seen those are probably on the very high end, but five to seven years for a Pacific Northwest boater that takes care of his batteries relatively well is a good life expectancy.